Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick and easy tutorial on how to make stocking stuffers. So let's get started. So while looking online, I saw that they were selling for about 10 bucks each, which was a little too much for me. So I went to Walmart and I found this. It's just a yard and a half of fabric for $10. Of course, just roll out your fabric and it's actually quite a lot. And you can see here, it's a lot of fabric, so you can get away with making a lot of stocking stuffers for just $10. So to begin, we need to make a pattern, and for that, you could use an old stocking and then just twist it out. I don't have one, so I'm gonna start from scratch. This is just a mailer I got in the mail, and I cut it open. Uh, you could use newspaper, you could tape some paper together, it's whatever is easier for you. And now we just begin by drawing out, you know, a little booty. Okay, that actually came out better than I thought. Um, I do want to make more of an angle here, so I'm just going to bring it up a bit like that. And I did make this a little extra long just so we can, you know, fold it down and it'll make that nice little fur top here. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with this, so we could just move on to cutting it up. Next, we need to cut two of these from the fabric. So what I will do is fold the fabric in half. Here I have my fabric folded in half and we're just going to be cutting out our booties. You can trace it and then cut it out or just cut it out and hold this down. It's whatever is easier for you. But make sure you also leave like a little bit of space so you could sew or glue it down together later. And since this is folded in half here, I'm just going to cut it open. And here we have two pieces. Cut as many booties as you need, just know you will need two pieces per booty. Now that we have both pieces, it's time to put them together. I'm going to use some hot glue just because my sewing machine broke like two years ago and I never got around to buying another one. Uh, but you could use fabric tape just along the sides. Um, you could just use a needle and thread, whatever is easier for you. So make sure to leave the top open and just glue all the way around the edges. Okay, now that we have our pieces attached together, we could just flip it inside out. And I'm just going to be folding this over. And now I'm going to add our names right on top. And I'm just going to measure. It's about 3 by 7. And that way I know how big to make my letters. So here I am on Cricut Design Space. And to write the names, the space that I have is 7 by 3. So we're going to make this 7 by 3. And that here is the top of our booty. So I know how big to make the names. And I'm just going to include my name. And we're going to look for a cute font to use. So I like this font. This one's called Shalma and I got it from thefont.com. You can get it too for free. I'm just going to change the color so I can see how it's going to look and fit. But this should be really good actually. Okay, and these look good. And now we can just go ahead and print them out. Since we are doing HTV vinyl, make sure you are mirroring your image. And I have this glittery HTV vinyl that I got from Expression Vinyl and I want to try it out. So make sure to do shiny side down when you load your paper. Here I have my vinyl ready to go and it was actually really hard to weed this out. So I really didn't like that glitter vinyl, but um, I did it. So we're just going to iron this on. And I do have a heat press, but since it's a very small project, I'm just going to be using my handy hand iron and just pressing it on myself. And this is just Teflon sheet that came with the pack of vinyl that I got. And one more press just to secure everything in. And I have just some glitter ribbon that I'll be using to make the little holder here. And I'm just going to need a little piece. And we're going to glue it right to the inside right here. And that is the last step. We have our finished stocking. So now you can go ahead and hang these wherever you like. And here we are, the finished product. I just put them right on my chimney. And this is what the glitter looks like. It's very shiny and looks so cute. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much.